uh, silica is among the most widespread uh, elements in the planet, Earth, and, uh, and so therefore it's an inexpensive material, it's sustainable, uh, it's uh, modifiable to address different types of properties, and even though it's been used for a long period of time, uh, much remains unknown about its properties, and that's partly because of that complexity with which it interacts with different types of molecules, uh, other elements, and what um, my group does, we've been interested in silica and silicates uh, ever since I began my career in the University of California at Berkeley, and uh, in that we tr study it in very, um, I think, unique ways. And the uniqueness is that we take things that public might know as magnetic resonance imaging, uh, that is, has medical applications, but we use it to, uh, in a very similar way, but at an atomic level, to get at the atomic level structures and compositions of silica in order to understand it and thereby modify the properties for new applications. So I think what's exciting about this at the moment is the understanding that now these latest methods in uh, physical chemistry and physics and material science and chemical engineering are bringing together in order to adapt and understand these properties of materials in ways that have never been possible before.